What's up guys, I'm Yuzum here. here. Uh, sorry about the absence. Um, I've been working on a, a, a record with a new band that I've been starting and when you're kind of just starting that out, you have to tank a lot of time and a lot of effort and it's just a lot of money. So it, you have to put pretty much all your hobbies on, on the back burner um, in order to do that. So uh, that's where I've been. Uh, but I've been waiting for the new list and to see if I even want to continue playing the game. Um, I probably will keep going just because I, I like the list um, for one reason and one reason only. We'll get get to that. Um, uh, first off, this takes place uh, from October 1st to, uh, through December, so January. So the new year, new list. Um, newly banned, nothing. So that's pretty much uh, easy going. Um, this is the only reason I'm, I'm excited to play. Glow Bulb. Um, Glow Bulb was my favorite card. Uh, as you guys probably know, I love plants. Plants is one of my favorite things in the world. Um, I love the deck. I'm going to be putting it into pretty much everything. Um, at least I'm going to be trying to play a bunch of different stuff. I do have a Mythic Ruler plant list-ish. It's probably not going to be too, too good without Soul Charge, but um, a friend of mine and I have been... Oh, my stop popping up. Trying to uh, devise a list in order to try and figure out how to play uh, with the, the Baby Chaos Dragons as Pseudo Tengus. Um, and we have three Rotas, so you can... And get to that junk synchron really quickly if you want to play that sort of stuff. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what, what's in store for plants. Uh, this is obviously super good in Shadal, Shadal's as Mill is not a cost, so they will all get their effects if, if you hit one of them on it. Um, Archfiend, thank god. That deck is so degenerate. I mean, it won world, so like, it's going to take a hit. Like, that's just kind of the pattern that Konami sees. It's like, oh, the deck won world. Doesn't matter how fake our uh, world format is. Let's hit the deck that won. Um, and this is just a terribly designed archetype, like one of the worst design archetypes ever. And I'm very, very happy to see, you know, it finally dead. It's a really cool archetype, like in terms of like its play style, but like the fact that everything requires no cards in hand, like that's the stipulation, it just, it's stupid. Um, this is a terrible idea, but we're going to be playing with one Raigeki. Um, the best part is they didn't ban Dark Hole either. So like, because like, it's like, oh, no one's playing Dark Hole. Well, let's do one better and give him Raigeki. And it's just like... This card is stupid. It, it takes no setup. Um, there's no thought behind it. There's no like, oh, I lose my monsters or, or I have to discard or, you know, there's there's no drawback. It's destroy everything your opponent has. Like it's 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 a terrible terrible card. And uh, I know a few tournaments are gonna be won by a guy ripping ripping Raigeki, which is just stupid. Um, Soul Charge. That's that's a really really good idea. Um, the card is stupid soul charge becomes sacky now because if you see yours before they see theirs uh you know it's one of those things where it was like it's like roll oppression at one soul charge at one is the same as roll oppression at one um you know whoever does whatever with it uh speaking of roll roll oppression we did not one we didn't get it back to we never got we didn't lose any hit to emptiness we needed a hit to emptiness um the card is very very degenerate uh it's a very unfair card to play around um it's the reason that I have, like, you don't, like, and maining MST is not really that good, but I am doing it just because emptiness isn't everything, and if I lose, you know, if my deck loses to emptiness, gotta play the outs. Um, Super Poly, this is a good hit. Um, heroes don't really play it, so it's not, it's mostly a hit to how dumb Shadals are, and how everybody's just gonna be, like, Super Poly, you're Super poly monster, and Super Poly, and it's just... It's a, it's a really stupid card. I don't really care for the design. The fact that you can't respond to it makes it really stupid. Um, I semi limited Gale, whatever. Like, it's a good anti meta card, and Black Wings are terrible. Um, Gores. I don't really like this. Uh, I'm not too big of. I'm not too big on Gores. Uh, just one of those things I don't like. To, I think the, I think it's a poorly designed card where, you know, you you literally like. You can attack and do damage, but if they have gores, you lose, and if they don't have gores, you're fine. So, like, if you do, you have to play with with thinking in mind that you have an out to gores, and I don't know. It's one of those things where, obviously, it helps frog monarchs. Um, it helps some variants of plants, because, like, drop gores and normal bulb, sink eight, stardust, mill one, sink eight, colossal fighter, blader, scrap dragon, whatever. Uh, it's not my favorite thing. Um... Or Sync 8 Scrap Dragon, pop off the token. Uh, Ceasefire, I don't like this because I don't like burn cards. Burn cards suck. Uh, Transmigration Prophecy is fine. Um, that's fine, it too. It could go to 3. I think there was a loop with it. 
I'm trying to remember what the loop with uh, Transmigration Prophecy is. I think there might be one. I, I'm not sure, but there is one. You know, it is what it is. Um, uh, back to three, Wolf Bark. I thought this was a go to two first, but they're just like, screw it. Let's just jump it all the way up to three. Uh, Magician of Faith did nothing at one, did nothing at two. It's going to do nothing at three. Uh, get, car get useless cards off the list. Um, Formula Synchron. Uh, I don't think anybody ever plays more than two. So, you know... Two synchron, three synchron. It's like when they limited spore from bands. Like let's put it to one. Same with bl bulb. You put bulb to three. No one is going. No one is going to play more than one bulb ever. So you can put bulb at three for all, all that matters. It's probably what's gonna happen next. Let's so just the same thing we did with spore. And then Rota. This is really interesting. Um, Konami has been trolling Noble Knight players for like the longest time, and finally the deck is getting. It's like the neck needs a Rota. Now it has three Rotas. Apologize for that popping up a whole bunch, but uh, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. I really like Junk Topple with three Rota, three tuning, like, and three Junks. So you're playing nine, basically uh, nine Junk Synchrons to the deck. You can get your uh, Doppel Warriors really quickly. Um, Unknown Synchron uh, is still like a really good card in that deck if you choose to go through that route. If you play like the non-plant version, obviously we got Bolt, which makes the plant version better. Uh, Trag is really dirty in that deck. Um, I don't know, it just seems like that deck se uh, seems like it could do something, and then the the new uh, Cliff Wolves or whatever are going to come out and wreck it with Skill Drain. But, um, I don't know. This is a, it's an interesting list. Three months. It's going to be an interesting three months. I'm just happy to have Bull back. I'm still waiting on Tengu, and I would like to have a second Debris Dragon, obviously. That's a really biased opinion, of course, but... I would like to see it, and I would like to see Skill Drain go down to, to one eventually, but... And I'd like to see Soul Charge finally just get banned. Just get outright banned. Um, but, you know, list looks pretty good, so let me know what you guys think is going to be meta, what you think is going to be good, and thanks for watching, guys.